Hi, I'm Wynn and I've been using trans tape about for four or five years now and I use it for dual purpose. I use it when I get on stage as a drag king and I also use it in my regular life as a cisgender woman when I go swimming. So it's multifunctional for me. All right, so what I'm gonna show you in my video is that I'm gonna start off with nipple guards because nipple protection is most important before you put your trans tape on. And then I'm gonna show you application for smaller chested in individuals. Okay, so mainly what I use for protection for my nipples is I just use a toilet paper square. So I take a toilet paper square and I fold it in thirds from here and I fold it on over. Keep in mind, I want to protect my areola as well, not just my nipples, but my areola. So think, keep that in mind when you are creating your own nipple guards is how big is your areola space. And then I use um, lotion to adhere to my nipple before I put my trans tape on my chest. For me today, I decided to go with the pink color because I'm feeling my flamboyant self. And for someone of my chest size, I normally go with a three and a half. So I use the lines in the back to help me um, decide how big of a strip I want to cut for myself. So that's three and a half there for me. Three and a half. And I use that as my guide. For me, I like to have my pieces identical as, as identical as possible. It's just a symmetry thing for me. So from there, I have my two pieces. And after that, before I apply, I round off the edges, the corners, just because it makes for a better lay on our round bodies. So I round off the edges. So that's that. So I have my two strips and my nipple guards ready to go before I apply my trans tape. All right, so I use lotion to help stick the tissue paper, uh, the toilet paper to my nipples because no one's ever complained about a moisturized nipple, right? So it doesn't hurt and it helps the toilet paper stick to my nipple before I apply my trans tape. Okay, so normally what I do when I put the trans tape on, I, I like looking in the mirror to see how it's gonna lay on me. But a couple of things you need to consider is obviously you don't want it to, it to lay too low that your nipple's hanging out, but then you don't want it to lay too high or else it's gonna be cutting into your armpit. So those are a couple of considerations I think about when I put on my trans tape. Typically I look at where my toilet paper is laying and I lay it about maybe half an inch beyond that so that I'm getting of uh, the surface area of my breast tissue so that I have space that actually the tape itself is adhering. So I peel off a piece of the tape like this a little bit and this is what I call your anchor because the anchor is what's going to hold the tape down on your body. You do not stretch it at this point. You're just using it to lay down the tape. That is your anchor. Once you lay down your anchor then it becomes a process of peel and pull. Every little bit of peel and pull, you are holding it tight and rubbing it down. So you're removing all the bubbles and the wrinkles because you want that smooth line. The uh, less wrinkles and bubbling you're gonna get, the less chance you're gonna have a reaction of the tape that I've noticed over time. So peel and pull, lay down. Rub, rub, rub. Peel back, pull, lay down, rub, rub, rub. And the same process, and then you start switching hands. Peel. Now this is part where it gets kind of hairy, so you need to rub, rub, rub. Pull, rub, rub, rub. Pull, rub, rub, rub. And that's where you get the nice, smooth application there. 
when I'm taping my chest, I feel like sometimes it's like my drag career when I try to make my eyebrows match. And you realize, no, they're not sister, they're not twins, they're sisters. So you'll never ever, good luck trying to get them identical. But I always, I always try, so I try to eyeball the height of the other one, so I try to make them both identical. So eyeball. So once again, lay down your anchor first. Don't stretch it, that is your anchor. You need it to adhere to your body for a nice strong anchor for your tape to work. Once you get your anchor down, that's when you, you peel, rub, rub, rub. Peel, rub, rub, rub. Peel, and I'm pulling at the same time. Rub, rub, rub. Peel, pull, rub, rub, rub. Peel. There it is. Rub, rub, rub. You try to keep it even. Okay. Peel. And now, it's coming off, so I'm gonna pull at it so I get rid of those wrinkles because I've noticed when I don't peel those out, that's where I will react if I don't peel them out. So this is how I fix it. So I've got a little bit of a wrinkle here. So I'll pull it back and I'll pull, pull and rub it in and smooth out that bubble. And that's where it goes. Right on. Well, thanks for watching my video. And if you have any questions about my binding process, please reach out to transtape.life.